In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Diamond Crossbow. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I haven't said that in a very long time. <laughs> but regardless, in today's video, we will be checking out the Diamond Crossbow. Still sucks how you can never inspect the cameras like this, dude. I really wish one day Call of Duty will add this feature back. But I did recently unlock the Diamond Crossbow. This is actually the first Diamond camera I have unlocked. So I am very excited to show you guys this camera because this camera looks so sick. I do also have it on the knife because that's how you actually unlock Diamond on the special weapons and the melees. But I mean, you guys definitely know I do not like using the crossbow in general. Like the crossbow. It's not super bad, but it's so inconsistent. Like sometimes you can pop off with it and other times it's just completely terrible. But I mean, it's definitely been a minute since I've made a normal like video for you guys. I know you guys have been seeing a lot of shorts lately, but you guys definitely have been supporting the shorts. So I really do appreciate it. You know, it always means a lot to me. And great dude, again, I have no weapon spec. <laughs> like I don't understand why I don't get the weapon spec wheel. I always feel like it does happen when I join a game halfway through, but it's not really just me, it's happening too. It's happened to a lot of people as well. And it really does suck. But I mean, here is the diamond crossbow. <laughs> That's the best I can show you guys. I mean, this thing definitely looks super pretty. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys prefer the plate diamond crossbow or the regular diamond crossbow. Because I mean, in my opinion, they're both really good. I remember at the start of Cold War, I liked regular diamond first. But then as I started unlocking plate diamond for a lot of guns, I did end up falling in love with plate diamond bit by bit. Like plate diamond just looks so good. But in my opinion, I reckon both of them look just as good, dude. Like it's insane. But I mean, the crossbow is always such a weird thing to use, dude. Like I just do not like it. It's so weird going for a regular gun to the crossbow because you have to like account for the trajectory of the bolt and everything plus i mean you can't even wall bang people with the crossbow which sucks dude like imagine if you could wall bang people with the crossbow like the bolt is flying through some wood like that'd be crazy plus i mean the range of the crossbow is never the best so i always feel like the crossbow is just sort of a good gun to grind for but other than that that's about it dude like you really wouldn't use it otherwise and to be honest i honestly have no idea what videos we'll be making today <laughs> like i really want to make another short since you guys really do seem to be supporting them which i really do love so thank you all so much for that but i honestly had no idea what i'd be making a short on so then i decided i might want to make a reaction video i haven't made a reaction video in a very long time but again i had no idea what i wanted to react to like nothing new came out or anything like even playing cold war i had no idea what i wanted to do but then i just realized that i did recently unlock the diamond crossbow so i might as well show you guys it and i might actually show you guys the diamond combat knife as well since those are the only two weapons that i do have to diamond so if i want to get dm ultra i am definitely so far away from that <laughs> but it's so weird because recently i've been seeing a lot of people grind for black sky and infinite warfare like i never really played infinite warfare the only thing infinite warfare related is just that i reacted to the zombies cutscenes for that which are actually really sick but other than that i never really did anything else infinite warfare related never played it never played zombies never played multiplayer or anything so it is very interesting seeing a lot of people go back to infinite warfare i'm very surprised as to why people are doing it because infinite warfare is such a good and bad game to some like some people really love it some people really hate it and it's such a weird game to just go back and play randomly dude like if i were to go back and play a random Call of Duty game, it probably would be World War 2 since they have actually teased that World War 2 will actually be the next setting for the next Call of Duty. But I mean, we are waiting for stuff with Season 3. I do believe Season 3 does come out in like just over a week. I do believe it's like 9 days. That's how long we have on the Battle Pass. So I do expect we are going to be receiving some more information and trailers about Season 3. The one thing I know for sure in Season 3 is that apparently Outbreak is supposed to be getting like a full Easter egg. Don't know how long that's going to take, how easy or hard it is, but I am super excited to see it since we don't actually have an Easter egg and outbreak just yet. Plus, I do want to continue the story in zombies since it actually does sound really cool. Plus, I am also excited to see if they're going to give us any new zombies maps. Not like outbreak or anything like nighttime sanatorium. Kind of like regular zombies maps like 5AZ or something. Like, I really want to see what sort of zombies maps they'll give us in season 3 like that. Like a regular zombies map with an easter egg and everything. I mean, that's just something I'm looking forward to in my opinion. I don't know if they're actually giving us another zombies map like that, but it would be really cool if they did nonetheless. Like, I'm just super excited to see what they do. Of course, I am super excited about the Season 3 Prestige Challenges, especially the Zombies ones, since I have already completed Season 1 and Season 2 and got those Prestige Zombies calling cards, which look super sick, by the way. And also with Season 3, apparently we've had like a ton of weapons being leaked, or I guess data mined. So we don't actually know if those weapons are coming in within Season 3 or not. The good thing is that most of them do seem like they are secondary weapons, so I do need to only get them up to level 30 in order to actually grind for Dark Ether, which is really good because the ZRG they recently released, getting that to level 50 and to 
Dark Ether was such a pain, dude. Like, getting it to level 50 was so much more challenging than getting something to level 30. And definitely more challenging than I thought, dude. So, the more secondaries, the better, especially with specials. Apparently, we might be getting a baseball bat, which seems amazing. Like, I can't remember the last time we got a baseball bat in a Call of Duty game. And apparently, we might also be getting a ballistic knife, which I don't know how much better that's going to be compared to the regular combat knife. It might be a bit faster, and that's about it. That's usually what these knives do. But, I mean, with Call of Duty giving us all these melees, I don't know how one's going to be better than the other. Like, right now, with the melees that we have, you can sort of tell how one's better than the other. Like, with the sledgehammer, the sledgehammer is just better because it has a longer range compared to the combat knife. But the combat knife is definitely way better because of the swing speed and everything. But since Call of Duty does seem to be planning on adding more melees, I am very interested to see how they are better than one another. Because there will probably be some that are statistically identical to each other. So it really doesn't matter if you use one or the other. But I mean, nonetheless, I'm still super excited about all these secondaries. Especially all the special weapons, dude. Because special weapons could look super sick. Like, we have some really unique special weapons already, like the crossbow. I mean, of course, like I said before, these leaks, you have to take them all for a grain of salt. Because you don't actually know if they're true or not. Because supposedly they've been data mined. But at the end of the day, Call of Duty could just change it. But I mean, other than these leaks and everything, we really don't know much about Season 3. Like, what we're supposed to be getting. Of course, like I said before, we are supposed to be expecting some trailers and stuff. Because that's usually what Call of Duty does within, like, the week leading up to the new season. Is that they give us some trailers. They tweet out some stuff that get us excited and hyped for the next season and everything. So, I mean, I'm just looking forward to it, guys. I honestly can't wait for Season 3. All the new stuff and everything. Can't wait to grind Call of Duty again. And I'm honestly just super excited. So, I mean, yeah, guys, that was the Diamond Crossbow. And, I mean, there's really nothing much to say about it. Like, it looks super pretty. Honestly, I don't know which is better, Plague Diamond or Regular Diamond. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. I'm pretty sure a lot of you would say Plague Diamond is better than Regular Diamond. But, in my opinion, they both look just as good. In terms of getting it, it's not really that difficult. It's just that I just procrastinated it. <laughs> my goal was just to try and get Dark Ether and get most of the DLC guns to Dark Ether. So, I really didn't pay attention to getting the Diamond or Dark Ether. Like, you guys can see, I'm only 1 out of 9 for DM Ultra. So I really don't care about getting it, even though it does look pretty cool. I swear they changed these geometric cameras around, dude. Like, look how weird they look. I swear they'll never like this. But I mean, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Show support. I appreciate all of it. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on bell notifications for some more Call of Duty content like this because I upload basically every single day. But again, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. See you all in the next one.